Hello students, now in today's lecture we will discuss about shape selective catalysis. Now what is meant by shape selective catalysis? Then we can say that the catalysis which depending upon pore size of catalyst, size of reactant and size of product is known as a shape selective catalysis. So once again just we note that we can say that catalysis, the catalysis depend upon depend upon pore size of catalyst pore size of catalyst and and size of reactant and product the size of reactant and product is known as a shape selective catalysis it is observed that geolite is shape selective catalyst so now what is the geolite then geolite is nothing but a alumino it is chemically known as a alumino silicate now in a three dimensional network structure of silicate some silicon atom are replaced by aluminium then we get a alumino silicate now formula of this alumino silicate we can write na2 l2 si4 and o 12. So, formula of once again geolite is Na2, Al2, Si4 and O12. So, geolite having a honeycomb type of three dimensional network structure. It is a just structure like a honeycomb. You have seen this type of honeycomb. In a three dimensional structure of honeycomb, there is a tiny tiny pores. The honeycomb ke jo tiny pores hai, usme bhi ja sakti hai aur a sakti hai. But, Spero cannot enter or cannot go inside. So, geolite having a similar type of structure just like a three dimensional network structure like a honeycomb, it has a tiny pores. In this honeycomb structure, it has a tiny pores and the size of pore is 260 to 740 pm. So, the molecule which are smaller as compared to 740 pm this molecule only can adsorb on surface of catalyst. So, it depending upon, it can be adsorbed or it can be desorbed. So, it depending upon, the catalysis is depending upon size of catalyst or size of pores of catalyst, reactant and product. Therefore, it is considered as a shape selective catalysis. Now, it is observed that before using geolite, we have to heat in a vacuum. So it is observed that when we heat in a vacuum, then it become a porous and water molecule which are adsorbed on a surface will eliminate and it become a totally porous. So why we have to heat in a vacuum? So it will remove moisture molecule. So this process to heat in a vacuum is known as a activation of geolite. So geolite before using it will be activated. So this thing is considered as an activation of geolite. Now geolite can be used as a catalyst for variety of phenomena. Generally it is observed that for cracking and isomerizations. Cracking means big molecule broken into small molecules and isomerizations to convert molecule into the isomer. So in cracking or isomerizations of hydrocarbon, geolite is very well used. So geolite is used for cracking of hydrocarbon as well as for isomerization of hydrocarbon. Now one of the most important geolite ZSM5. It is observed that ZSM5 is the most important geolite and it is used for conversion of gasoline we can say that it is used to convert alcohol into gasoline. So, one can obtain a petroleum product from alcohol by using a geolite known as a ZSM5. So, once again, first, shape selective catalysis. We can say that the catalysis which depending upon pore size of catalyst as well as size of reactant and size of product is known as a shape selective catalysis. It is observed that geolite is the best example of shape selective catalyst. Geolite is nothing but a 
aluminum silicate and it is a formula Na2Al2 Si4 water well. It is observed that in a three dimensional network structure of silicate, some silicon molecule is replaced by aluminum, then we get a aluminum silicate. So it is observed that this zeolite having a three dimensional network structure like a honeycomb and it has a tiny pores and size of pore is 260 to 740 pm. So the catalysis phenomena of zeolite is depending upon size of reactant product as well as pore of catalyst. So it is considered as a good shape selective catalysis. Now the molecule of reactant as well as product which is a size smaller than 740 pm can adsorb or it can dissolve. So zeolite can be used as a self selective catalyst. Now before using zeolite as a self selective catalysis we have to heat in a vacuum. So water molecule which is present on its surface it will remove or eliminate and catalyst become porous. So this process is considered as, as an activation of catalyst. Now this zeolite can be used for variety of purpose. It is used for cracking as well as isomerization of hydrocarbon and the one of the most important zeolites ZSM5 convert alcohol into gasoline in a one step. So in today's lecture we have studied shape selective catalysis.